this next one, and I apologize, I, I found that photo and I just had to use it. <laughs> so video content. I'm so glad this is the most terrifying, you know, like mock product that exists, the birthday stick <laughs> of engaging people in all the most important times of your life. But the, the point is serious about video really does rule that as of this year, video is expected to make up 82% of online traffic. And so there's, there's so many different ways to incorporate that in. So I'm on a, I'm on a tread desk right now. I have a standing desk with the, you know, the fancy treadmill under. And I've thought about what if for Square, I would do like Tuesday tread talk where I just like walk on my treadmill and I talk into a camera for three minutes or, you know, I think like I was sharing before and I know from my brother and what he shared, we have a different expectation about the quality of video. And I know several years ago when there was all this push, you know, of video always increasingly growing over year, over year, but the quality mattered in a different way. And that has been a gift of COVID where, because we are all home, we're growing beards, we're not cutting our hair it's our brains that matter, <laughs> you know, that we, we can have more fun in the way that we present our video content of what's the behind the scenes of what your organization is doing, or um, what's the impact of what giving has been. What's the, the newsletter, the virtual newsletter of maybe your um, executive director sharing that into, you know, a Facebook live for two minutes instead of typing out a long multi-paragraph update. How can you incorporate video in a lower risk way? I, I laugh too about the way the discomfort with Zoom and people not wanting to turn on the cameras. And I'm not like passively saying all of you that don't have your cameras turned on should turn them on. <laughs> you can leave them off. But that somehow it's this different expectation about who we can be in a video versus who we are in real life, right? Like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna eat on camera because I don't want to see people eat or like see me eat, but I go to restaurants with people. So it's like, there's still this hump that we need to get over of the comfort that we have in a screen. Like somehow I'm just weird if I'm not three-dimensional and that none, none of you, none of us are weird <laughs> in, our, in our video form. And that there's a lot more that we can do with it in sharing engaging updates and just communicating about the impact that our volunteers or donors are having in the work that we're doing.